Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, Messed Up Logic, bringing you the MSCL Grand Finals, which should start right now. But today we're gonna do a quick analyst. So tell me, I'm with Jason and Wanted right now. So tell me, what do you think of these two teams coming up? FS versus Cream. Well, FS here is uh, clearly the favorite. Uh, they won last season, as we all know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> after being the reigning champions of the MSCL, Cream's coming in as a new challenger made up of a bunch of FS, Oblivion, and some other teams. It's going to be a real challenge, actually. Oblivion really let us down this year. Yeah. They did not live up to their standards. I don't know. FS, I think they are the cream of the crop right now because they are so dominant. I don't. I think they've only dropped one map, and it's to Cream, actually. But that was when Cream had their full lineup. Two of their players have been blacklisted since. Yeah, of course, Cream will be playing without Void and who else? Crick. Crick. I don't know if we're allowed to mention that name anymore. Anything no, PDCL related. Nah, it's okay. Viva <laughs> Re Revolution, of course. The lineup so far for FS looks like it's going to be Bab, Vadim, Alohi, uh, Tucker, and Jason. <laughs> But that's actually Alohi. a very strong rifle lineup, if you ask me. It's very strong with Bap being on the op. Probably. Jason's gonna be offing. Jason? He's a rifle. He's a very good rifle as well. As well. Very consistent with it, but as well, he is a very, actually a very talented offer. Yeah. And it appears that right now Cream has four players. Yeah, they uh, do have four players. I don't know exactly what's happening with uh, either Brady or someone else coming, but we'll see. Apparently he got hit by a car. Yeah, yeah. that's <laughs> probably going to throw a wrench in their game plan right there. But uh... If Brady can't play, that's going to be a major obstacle for Cream. Yeah, I assume game. right now they're having a discussion in their scheduling chat about what's going to happen. Oh, where's Alex as well? Yeah, I, I wondered that as well. Where's, like, Alex? Where's Chris? Like, where's some of their mainstream riflers? Yeah, and uh, Chris, I also noticed, isn't here. Or is there... He usually doesn't change his name, so... I don't, I don't think he got a uh, name change. No, 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 no. He's still the same name. He's just not here, and I'm not sure why. I think there's going to be a 10 minute delay is what they're deciding on. Well, in that case, I might mess around and try to fix this uh, title issue. Because it still says... <laughs> you, you, just, you need to stop with the phone. Let's see. <laughs> you two keep talking about uh, FS versus Cream. Like, what are they going to do without one of their main players, Void? And this is sort of a revenge map as well, because or, or revenge match, because Cream and FS played earlier in the double elimination brackets, but alas, you know, they, uh, FS won 2-1, right? Yes, yeah. they did. Yeah, the, and the one map coming, there was one map coming really close, which was Mirage, if I remember correctly. Mirage is not being played today, though, Mirage so Mirage is we'll being see. played today. They're playing Cash, Overpassed, and Dust 2. Void was normally the mid holder for them on Cash, so we'll see how they change that up. Bap means they're talking in chat and saying that he doesn't want to reschedule at all, so that whatever happens, it looks like they might actually just force today in a 5v4, if anything. It's, yeah, there's, they're just all fighting. Um, no. Joe's really trying to come back and say, like, he was in a car crash. It's like one of our main members. But at the same time, where like are their other members, right? I like Alohi's comment the most. Brady forgot to go to church, lol, so God clapped his cheeks. I think that's the best description of what's going on here. You know, uh, I'm not going to comment on that right there. <laughs> but go, go to church. You know, we're going to have a beautiful, beautiful Sunday. Afternoon of Mind Strike. 
Imagine if MS was plays in the dark, like nighttime. What do you mean? You can do that with PDC settings. Oh wait, what? <laughs> you can change the time of day. You know that? No. <laughs> Uh, set time. You can do day, night, vanilla, or sunset. Hmm. More you know. Who is Ross? Thank you. Ross. I don't know you can do that. <laughs> well, let's see. Who would they have in their lineup? XD, JC, Tucker, Alohi, Vadim, and Bath. Bringing basically their best five players to this game. Yeah. Actually, Sean's here. I think he's coaching us. He, he might is. be coaching. He is coaching. Uh, this might just be a stomp in the end. But, mm, hopefully it won't be. That's all I can say. Looks like uh, they're arguing it out now. We'll just have to wait and see what happens. I don't think you're allowed to actually reschedule twice. Because they already rescheduled to move but one week. So, uh... Who do you guys think is going to win this? My money's on FS, obviously. Like, <laughs> You know, they uh, this Core 5, not only do they play an MSCL, they also play an MTO, like the same Core 5. Maybe excluding BAP, but, you know, they stick together and, like, they are actually the best team you can have here. The best team that can play. Like, I think they're going to win... Two zero. I think they're coming up with a compromise here, which might be a little weird. Something we I don't think we've ever seen before. I've heard comments about uh, possibly letting Void play. I don't think that's going to be the case. It's up to Bap, so we'll see. Well, Bap is the director of the entire league, so he could allow it. Hey, essentially, if they, get, if they get Void to play. You know that's. I think, for my predictions, I think it's going to be 2-0 FS, as I agree with Messi. They just have such a firepower lineup that, as long as they can trade correctly and communicate well, they have what it takes to win this game. Mm -hmm. Especially with uh, Cream's internal problems. Yeah. I don't, see, I don't see a world where this can work out. Well, you always have to keep in mind, there's bot spam. And bot spam can do some pretty crazy things. Yeah, bot spam. One of the X factors here, I would say, you know, bot spam popping off. Like, if maybe you're going against the best player in the league, the bat. Like, if you want to... You're going against... You have the best player in the league on the best team in, in the league. This is kind of what we see in CS where Simple plays a straw list. The best player in the world against the best team in the world. Except it's the opposite where they're on the same... That they have the best player on the same team. The competitiveness is a little bit on the bias side. Towards FS. Don't you agree? I mean, you know, FS have name brand value. They, If they want someone, they'll have them. Yeah. Seems it up pretty much. Jason, you can go rough if you want. Or I could. And then. I'll see whatever they want to do. I don't even know if the game's going to happen at this point. I don't think they'll let me because of oh, my hearing problems. But... That's full screen. Hang on. That's not full screen. <laughs> Should be. Good stream. Good stream. Good stream. Let's see. <laughs> Damn, Jason. You get told by Bethany. Let's see. Uh, in game. Let's see if there's any settings we can go into. Or that might just might be because I was uh, not in full screen right there. Let me check. I'm, you guys talk. I'm going to check uh, real quick. All right. I spelled that wrong. Uh, 
Is there a stream delay? Yeah, I'm gonna shift it. He said two minutes. So he said two. Alohi and Vadim are in the big giant slimes. Oh no, I just got knocked off the map. My peers are coming over here interrupting our stream booth. I think we're gonna have to find a new one. Let's go to the candy cane island. Let's go up to the very top. Shout out JC Kins for ruining our stream booth. <laughs> Alright, get on the candy cane. On the candy cane? Where's that? On the candy cane island. Oh, I know where we should go. Grab an F for a pearl and meet me at the top of the, the this little hot air balloon. Forrest was actually like 15, uh, just almost 15 minutes ago. I don't know what's happening, to be honest. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, I don't believe this. What happened? How many viewers does the PDCL have right now? I don't know. Check. How many do you think? Hey. Scroll down to on the sources, hit game capture. Game capture? Yeah, just open up the info. How just do double click. Do uh, double click it. Alright, um, and you run Minecraft in full screen? Yeah. Alright, hit done. Where the fuck is the selection box for it? It seems like it's hidden. Um, Alright, go to add. Um, uh, this right here? Yeah. Add a new game source or game capture. Yep. Yeah, yeah, just yeah, you can hit add existing source. Where is it? There, it's up at the top. Yeah, but why do you not have the selection box for it? Try and drag it around. No, no, no. I mean, like, drag it around on the editing preview thing. Oh, like on here. Yeah, it should be end up. What the fuck? No, no, no. Take it to the top. Take it to the top. By the way, you know you transitioned. Oh, whoops. Starting soon. There we go.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to restart this stream so I can get the right title up. Uh, everything should be finished now, so yeah, see you soon. I'm here, yeah, yeah. Yeah, what's the what's the game? on there we go I'm doing it everybody map one is cash so we're gonna have FS on the T side and uh, cream on the CT that's what'll happen so everything should be fixed I think and uh, anything else you'd like to add, Wanted? I'm here with Wanted for fun. Wanted. <laughs> Ted Wan. Will be my co Thank you for the introduction. Messed up logic. Um, I don't really know what's much to add on top of... It's just going to be a really intense game. They're letting Void come back from being blacklisted. So I'm surprised Baps allowing that, but... They want the play, so I guess they're here to bring their A game today. All that analyzing and going over what happens since Void's not going to be playing, that's out the window. We have Void here. The game's about to start, and let's get right into this game. See how the CT side's actually going to start off here. Void's actually going to be watching middle. Alright, we got semi set up. It looks like there's going to be some B aggression coming in. We'll watch that unfold. Oh, an aggressive coming out from bots from. 
on Jason. Surprised he got that. But Tucker's trying to take B control and he that cost him his life. Down to three on five. Three on four now. The knife coming in, and low he's gonna get the knife on Clive. There's the knife. The three on three. See, they get the bomb down too, so. And here comes the retake. Alright, the retake coming in, Joe's. Vadim's gonna be able to take down Joe, that's a good first pick. Wubble's gonna be caught right in between. Alohi's gonna go for the knife. But now it's just on a 2v1. Baffle alone and Wubble, he's gonna take him instead. That's Two kills coming out from Wubble, and the defuse is gonna be coming in from Void for some extra cash. That's gonna be the first round for Cream. This was a 3v3 turned all the way to a 2v1. As two two players on Cream staying alive. That's gonna be good going off into the next round. But not so good for FS. They came to play and they lost that first round because of bot spam's early pick onto Jason. I wouldn't hold bot spam against that, but uh, right now I don't have stats. But that's I guess how how the team crumbles. And here comes the B take. There's all. the pistol round we still have yet to get into the gun round. this is also fs's best map so i wonder how they respond stop tuning slow b aggression right now that actually got a dig tag on the mid player who was playing white box that's actually very good for starting out he's going to get a he's going to get a double dig on clive as well oh and he's going to take down box them as well as well one player is still dig tag on middle. That's still He's gonna going. get a no scope on Void! Finally taken out. Down to four on two. Oh, four on two. This is how FS Wobble now D tag and Vadim's gonna clean him up. FS that was an insane play from BAP. Holy crap, I was not expecting that. Gets two, four digs actually, all in a row hitting players, and then gets a, a no scope scout onto a boss spam. Tucker is actually on the aggressive mid take. That Z player, he's falling back. Yeah, Bap's also one of the best players in the league right now, so. They're using two players basically, and another B take. I don't think there's much the CTs can do. Loki's gonna get Clive. Boy's gonna be taken down by Bap. And now it's just Joe and Wubble in a 2 on 5. There's not really much that they can do other than maybe then go for exit picks. But actually, FS is gonna be hunting. Joe's gonna find a Deke headshot on Loki. But he's gonna be refragged by Tucker. Now it's just Wubble all alone. And I think they've actually spotted his position. Yeah. Tucker's gonna be going for the kill. That's just a done round, yeah. But Same FS aggression, both rounds. They they caught it toy um they're doing like a pace. It seems like they're pushing the site slowly, but then as they get control of it, they start to push out and look for opening kills. But maybe as Cream starts getting more guns and buys, they might stop doing that. Still just P2 can die right now for Cream. Smoke's coming out on A side, and actually there's gonna be a push from the team. Yeah, He's gonna find Joe. That's an A side taken right there. Five on two. I don't think both of or Breakaway can do anything. Breakaway. He's going for that B player. He knows he's behind flanking. He's missing all of his bullets and wasn't able to get anything. That's quite unfortunate for a breakaway.
Here no, comes this should be. Here comes this should be the first buy. Right? Yeah. Say. If they're able to get this, they might have the next two, maybe even three rounds. And it looks like it might be another A take right here as the smokes come out. It looks like two players are backing up. Vadim's going out. He's going to try to do as much damage as he can. He's actually going to take two players down on the A side. Boy's all alone. He's going to be flanked by BAP. Now it's Clive all alone with M4. Yeah, he might know that one's on the B. I don't think he's gonna expect his player. Oof! But he's gonna be able to quickly frag him. Yeah, that's... Clive saves the AK. Uh, I don't know what was with... Hold on to the ace. I simply execute. That's right there. Yeah. Well, it was mainly a one-man job because of Vadim. Probably one of the best right now. He's already definitely can agree. He's already five and zero oh on my screen. Of course, I don't know how often he died, but he, four to one. He's now. seven and one right now. Seven and one. Four to one right now. It's both Bap and Aloki opping actually. That's kind of unexpected. Adam Jason actually as well. They have three ops, and that means that the Demon Tucker are rifling. Yeah, they're taking it slower than Breakway's gonna find one on Tucker. Jason's gonna refrag on the Clive. He's gonna be doing a lot of damage actually. The DM's gonna come in on the flank and kill him. And that's actually gonna be the B site open for FS. Yeah. A lot of damage has been done. Jason is on point five. That's gonna find two. I don't think he's, they realize that the the last player is on the B site. He's sticking. It will he stick? No. Nope. He almost got BAP. That's five. But BAP's gonna find a three K. That's five to one in favor of FS right now. So now I want to know. Why, you know, last week they get like 200 viewers, but now, now it's just like Nothing. 24. You know, what's up? Do you not like the streaming? Exactly <laughs> taken out. By the aggression. Jason almost caught that mid player off on Z. If he was able to do that, that would have been mid, mid control. And actually, there's going to be a plane coming around from T-spawn. Breakaway. Tucker is going to be able to come off before Breakaway could find one. Five getting aggressive in B. He's actually going to fall back because of that. I think that they're just going to go over a, a B take, and actually, there's going to be yeah, they're Joe the going up on Heaven. Five getting the entry. The first pick. Falls Ooh, on the second. Joe's going to. Now it's Vadim and Tucker. This is one of the first time you're gonna see that just these two all alone. But they're gonna have the B side to work with. And they're gonna find two frags to even it out. Now the 2v2. Oh, Tucker's gonna find one through the smoke! Now, now it's, it's a 1v1, one one. him and Void. Off versus off. Seeing who can find the angle first. They're just looking for the pre-fires. Woods looking to play aggressive. Tucker's not really looking to play with pistol right now. Getting close right now. Tucker's playing this so well. Bringing around to Rosie, but Void, he's gonna find him first. Void gets the pick and wins that clutch. You know what, just for you guys. If I can turn on, I would turn on full break, but I'm not going to. But now it's two to five in favor of FS, of course. But FS. Yeah, we're just gonna, we're just getting started right now. 
But uh, so play going. Stop almost down, Joe. On mid there. Yeah, I don't. This these slow plays. That slow play toss them around. Last. They're not really making up their mind. So let's see if this other next slow play it works. It's not really much about the slow plays, it's more about finding the precision kills. If they can find the precision kills that will the, find the vulnerability in Cream's armor, like right here, they just took the B-site off of these two, two picks. Yep, uh, uh, bot spams aggression. But now it's three on two. Bomb still hasn't gone down. They have info on Wobble on sandbags and... Although he's, he's not going to be challenging that this quite yet. He's hesitant. He's going to be surrounded by Tucker. Tucker's actually going to get scout tag. The Deem's going to go for the A plant here. And Tucker, he's acknowledging that. Well, both players are still on the B side. They actually thought for a second that it was B. Yeah, we'll go on the scout. Void on the off. Yeah, right now they've been bamboozled. Let's see what can happen now. It's all on Tucker and Vadim, two of the top fraggers versus Wubble and Void. They actually have very similar health right now, so this gonna this could play out either way. Void's gonna find the first pick, and now it's Vadim all alone with the rifle. That's one. He's looking for one more. Op versus Kree. Which one will find the first pick? It's gonna be Vadim to take the round home for Final Spark. Yeah, Vadim wins that round. Good clutch for Vadim, and now it is a 6 to 2 scoreline. FS really showing their dominance right now. In this first half, mm. very much so. Boyd coming in unexpectedly. I guess that can throw some little wrench into the, their communication right now. Two picks coming out early from FS as it's Zico, a third from Jason. Yeah, this this round should be clean. Should be done really fast. Wobble all, all alone down. now. Not much he can do. Maybe take Bap here, but there's not really much. Yeah, he's stuck. Yo, oh, he's gonna find Tucker. Unfortunately, you can't get much more. Can't get much more there. Done. Yeah, seven to two. This should be a quick, quick eight two map. That's what I'm guessing right now. Tucker is looking to play aggressive, but he's gonna get smoked off, actually. Cream using their nades early is really slowing them down, especially with damage. Teamwork from Cream. I saw, you know, uh, Breakaway get flashed in right there. Now it's a four. Yeah, here. it was good communication. And although he's not going to find the timing. That's the round. That was a... That was mostly an op round coming out from Cream. Yeah. Well, luckily they'll have their buyback right now. And... 3 to 7. Maybe if they can get, you know, 5 or 6 rounds on CT side, they might stand a chance. Jason's gonna take down Joe. Boss Bomb's actually gonna get tagged by the Deem on middle. Now he's looking to play passive. It has to be a passive round from Cream now. They have to get this first pick, and they desperately need it. And I think Final Spark might just try to make a move towards A site. All they are, oh, they're going into B right now. Here they come. 
Vibe's gonna be taken down. That's unfortunate for Cream. But now, Final Spark, five on three, and they have the B site, yet the bomb's still not down. Sitting there menacingly right now, and here comes the bomb. Plane. Now five on three. Five on four. But all down to three. On Wubble and his luck. He gets the first. Here comes the second in the knife corner. He the oh, he's gonna find him in the knife corner. Now it's him and Tucker on one v one. Tucker's gonna find him first. Impressive start from Final Spark. The Deem and Tucker and Bap all being one kill apart of each other on the on the T side now going to T T side. But um, it's not really looking like much for Cream, Void, Joe, and uh, Wubble, 6, 7 kills, Botsman 5 kills, Clive 4 kills. Yeah, the Cream lineup's going to have to have a pretty flawless, flawless T side, I would say. But I don't know if they, pl if they play Cash. So, Cash, I see going in favor of FS right now. And maybe, mm -hmm. maybe it'll, it'll I think it's going to go in favor of SS. FS is very... Well, it depends if FS is going to want to play passive or more aggressive. Maybe if they win the pistol, they'll play more aggressive looking. But then Cream, they might force it. Yeah, we'll see how their aggression goes. Because we've seen bot spam push through, you know, on that B site for some B aggression. And it's worked about three out of the four times, I'd say. But I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Wait and see what's going to happen here. It's Everything's unexpected to what something new any of these teams could pull out. Because once the teams get better and better, they just start playing a little bit differently as they try to count on each other. Right now, I think... Um, we should... It all depends on who's going to play that first pick correctly as well as uh, how well are they going to work together. Yeah, let's see if their coordination can work together. We saw that teamwork just a while ago. So I'd, I'd expect a few executes coming out. But that's about it. And you can only get so far with executes. I just noticed the headshot percentage on Tucker is 15.4% with 13 kills. I don't know the right math for that, but here we go. Cream on the that's T side. Pretty, that's pretty high, actually, for having 13 kills. The are going to be broken immediately, and the team's going to notice that. Looks like a little bit of a, a mid aggression too, coming from Cream. Jason too small to win. They're taking their time looking for it. That flash is not going to go the way where Clive wants it to. Vadim's going to find the first play frag aggressively on Bubble, looking for more. Tucker's going to get the knife on Joe. And all, right now it's on a 3 on 5, or 2 on 5, Void and Fox. Lots of actually kind of baiting Void out here. Void didn't know that Vadim's in garbage. Dumpster. Now it's the spot spam and Vadim, he's going to find the 4k. Yeah, Vadim with a nice 4k right there. Uh, one of the win conditions for this map was Cream to get a... You know, win the pistol. But I see that now. 
So here comes. Maybe this will be a little bit more of an aggression from Final Spark now. Now that they have some more money to play with, especially with SMGs, while Cream, they might not have anything. And actually, there's Vadim. He's coming with aggression already. He's gonna find Void. Okay. And the rest of the team are holed up and squeaky right now. Little do they know, the A site is mostly clear right now. Except for BAP and A main. If they need that, that could be dust. That could be just a broken round. But Bap, he's gonna get caught in all of it. Now that's basically all of it open. I don't think they're risking to go in it. Yeah, there's the knife coming in from Joe. They're not. I don't think they're gonna risk it. Two in the knife corner. Vadim's gonna find one. Bossman's gonna refrag for him. Now it's a three v two. Oh, <laughs> Luke is going to be taken out by Joe. Now they have the advantage here. They just won it off of a tier 4 play. That was beautiful right there. Not going to lie. I'm so glad we got to witness that because... <laughs> FS completely fell for their Joker and he. Yeah, they could have waited the timeout, yeah, absolutely. I guess they wanted to get ahead, but Tucker already with squeaky aggression right now. And he's keep he's gonna keep going. He's not gonna chuck the corner, and Botsman's gonna be re able to refrag for Wobble. And Jason's actually be taking down McClive as well. That's the B site. Completely open. Actually, they have A and B, but they're going to choose the A site to plant. Here comes Vadim. Fall down to Bap. Bap. He killed Joe. He has a gun, but he also is low on CZ bullets. What can he do with this off here? One site and one cat. He's going to throw the nape up onto cat. He's going to do damage. He's going to miss the off shot. Boss bam. He's going to drop with the AK. And clean up the round for cream. Yeah. Well, are, are you? Do you believe right now? Wanted. Do you believe in the comeback? That cream. You know, I think FS is just playing with them. It's hard to say actually if they're really trying, but it mostly looks like they're just playing with these aggressions coming out from them. Two pushing a main. I mean, Vadim in the light corner on B, they're just playing with him, looking to see if they can actually tour around and then find somebody. They're gonna find two, exactly as I said. They're gonna find a, one more in A main, that's gonna be Clive. And Jason's gonna be playing aggressive on it. He's gonna find that pick as well. That was, it's 3v2, and they have the B site. Om almost, actually. About it, and he does. He's going to get... Ooh, he's almost knifed on bot spam. Now it's a 3v1. Wobble all alone, seeing if his luck can come back again and clutch this round. Doesn't look like he's gonna go for it. Or maybe he will. See if he can find somebody in the smoke. Take out somebody. Who knows what he's gonna do. seconds on the clock. Let's see what he can do. Bomb down. Trigger. Gets the first. I'm not gonna find Vadim just quite yet. Going to the other corner. Ooh. He almost had him, actually. He was on the ropes there for a second. The bomb's actually down in A main. I didn't just notice that. There's no time for Wubble to play with. The Deem's just going to back up all the way to A site. That's yeah. a round. That's a round. Uh... To win. One more to tie. about the friends we make along the way, I guess. And here comes this next buy round from Cream. I don't see either of these teams. Right 
Yeah, I don't, and I'm not sure where Sean is, and I don't think actually that Cream has another uh, another player online like Alex. It's actually a little bit different than FS normal. They're having one B and two mid. Yeah, that mid aggression from Cream has been at least pretty difficult. So, Jason, he's actually gonna be playing more aggressive. He's gonna look for somebody, and he's gonna be able to bait out a player. Last time's gonna be. Shot at. Oh, he hit him above. Hitting the, uh, yeah, hitting above the red. And he gets knifed. Disconnect from that. What the heck? Now this is what happened. I crashed. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Alright, well it's map point FS. Right in the most important moments. <laughs> the last round of map one. Almost. Yeah, well, we know this map is going in favor of FS. Give a play-by-play -play of what's going on right now. All right, well, Cream is looking like they're trying to take control of middle. And actually, Boss Bam is going to be the first one being taken down by Tucker on middle. Now it's 4v5, and they're not really, they're hesitant to look for where it's going to play. All right, we're back. Nothing's happened, or one's, one's dead. The Deems, the Deems looking to play aggressive on the B main against Clive, and then backs up as he's no longer feeling it, but actually Lohi and Bap, they're gonna sink, go and sink and get two off shots. Now it's a 5v2. Yeah, FS looking. All down to void. The blacklisted player is getting his chance of redemption right here. Gout and Glock in hand. What can he do? Oh, we picked up a deagle. Three players from FS just going to knife him. And that's gonna be it. That's game right there. That's game. No one says GG. Oh, I forgot to spec. Let's get this done. End game? Okay, there we go. At first one's the first map, Clyde bottom striking on 5 and 17, Boss Bam 9 and 14, Boyd 10 and 13, Wubble 9 and 13, and Joe 12 and 15. For FS, Vadim going 22 and 7, Tucker 18 10, Bap 16 8, Alohi 10 and 11, and Jason 6 and 9. Very nice numbers from Jason. Very good, Jason. Very good. So next map will be Overpass. What do you see as Cream's chances on Overpass right now? They beat Oblivion on, the, on this map actually earlier. So I say they, if they, well, they don't have quite the same players as they played with uh, when they played Oblivion. I think they had Alex and, and Brady. So this will be a little bit harder, I, I think, for some of these other players that they have subbed in, like Void and Clive maybe. Perhaps, but I'm not sure. It could go in their hands if they play their um, rotations correctly. Mm -hmm. I think, uh, of course, Overpass is a very uh, heavy execution map, I think. So, with uh, Cream basically playing the executions, you know, as they us normally do, uh, all you have to do is just kind of set up and go for an execute. Win the ma or win that round. Yeah, well, it's FS on the CT side to start us off, so that's gonna be a little bit harder for them. Uh, it's for Cream as they have to win some of these rounds for the next half. And we saw in the cash game, they're they're very good at their CT side when they're not playing around and being all serious about it. Yeah, so let's see what uh, cr what strats Cream have in store right now. Uh, make sure you get your stats. Yeah, I got stats. Alright, good. It doesn't look like they're going to go for anything B. Four players park. 
And actually, they're going to go for... They're trying to do the glitch and go outside of the map for a second here. Or maybe see if they can see a play, player over the um, fountain. And there's an aggression coming out from Zap and the DM. And none of them, neither of them realize it, that all five players are parked. Wobble well, we might actually catch Jason off guard here. Oh my, this is quite a fight. Bap's gonna find the first one, although, on Wobble. And he's gonna retreat afterwards. They're still trying to get on to that onto that glitch exploit, but I'm unsure why they are. It's an exploit. That could cost them the entire map. We, we know this, they're probably now, but uh, where are they? I see they're trying to regress. Oh Jason missed all of his shots. He just whipped the plate to let Clive knife him. They have bombed down long in a 2v2 now. Voids. Void. Wait, wait, 30 seconds. Unfortunate boss. Now it's just boss spam on long with the Glock. Let's see if he has any plans. 16 seconds. Nine percent. Nine percent on Vadim and 11 on Al Alohi. There's not really anything that bossman can do other than plant the bomb right he, now. He even missed the bomb, so that's pistol round. Right there. Baltimore's gonna find the knife, but Alohi, all he had to do was one run, and that's the round for Final Spark now. Yeah, and of course the, uh, you know, they were trying to do the jump glitch, but, you know, they didn't do it successfully, so there was no warning point. Rodcad, you ought to be on top of that. Make sure that they don't exploit. <laughs> Here's the fight with Void in Connector right now. No, they didn't. I'm just saying if they do. Yeah, they didn't do it, so... <laughs> Let them. <laughs> oh, actually, Joe made it! Oh, <laughs> uh, here we go. Now there's nothing really more that they can do. The only thing he can do is jump on that green rule to his right, and he doesn't even know that. Uh, I'm not sure what he was trying to do. Well, technically, I guess that's actually... Bubble's gonna flank Tucker on bathrooms because nobody's watching it. Now that's a long clear. He's right gonna now. find a shot on Jason, and Bap's gonna be taken down as well, and now it's a 5 on 2. Five on one, Alohi all alone. He got the first pick on to avoid. Now can he find four others? This is the question. 30 seconds, he could probably just hide right now. Wait, we have Boz on top of the map right now. This is important info. Joe actually found, is on the exploit. <laughs> Beautiful stuff from coming from Cream right now. Did you see Joe? Mm hmm So we got proof. It's actually a 5B play coming out from FS now. Now this game, this map just seems to be a joke to me, honestly. Doesn't seem like... It. Cream is really taking this series. They're trying to get outside of the map. And Ball FS. Has already made it. Yeah. Oh, that nade. A second nade actually going to tag him as well. Four players on the connector ladder. Actually, all five in connector. Yeah, all five FS players in. I can't, I can't keep this seriously anymore, man. Like. I can't take this seriously as well. I'm smiling my ass off. This is the MSCL final, man. And we're on four. Three seconds. 
Are they gonna go to four, four planet? I don't know. I mean, they have a right now, as according to the rules. So like, actually, Joe's gonna go for the plant now on A site. What they're doing is unorthodox, but it works. Yeah. I mean, it shouldn't. It shouldn't really be there in the first place. You know. It shouldn't be. They haven't fixed it yet. Yeah. But it look, does it look like they're gonna fix it anytime soon? Nah, not really. I think according to the devs, you know, my stuff is too complicated to fix, of course, of course. Of course, but that's not even a dev problem, that's a builder problem. Let's see, I'm gonna, I think one voice is, I got, one voice is really loud, one voice is really quiet, so I'm gonna try to... They made all the wrong place, so they tried to nade the park to see if they could get an advantage here. They managed to get one. Actually, they managed to get three and turn this situation into a 2v1 out of all of this. Oh, and the last nade's gonna come in from Alohi in that gunfight. That was quite the gunfight, actually. I couldn't even register everything that was going on. Okay, that should be fixing it. I think you you were probably too loud. So now you should Poor be. Guy. Yeah, Whoops. no. Nah, it was. I turned you all the way up on the stream, just because that's what right. you usually do. But here comes. If they had all needed just right over the fountain and just below the tree, that could have done maybe four nade kills that round. An aggression coming out from Files Mark on Fountain. Joe's gonna be taken down as well by Tucker. Tucker, he's not done though, he's looking for more. Although he's gonna find one. And Boxman's gonna be taken down by Tucker as well. Thank you, Rodcad. Now Rockhead putting in the rule book that trying to get on top of the slide. Are not allowed. Lohi finding the first pick on box spam. But then again. Uh, the FS in the bloodline, he's looking for more. He's gonna find a second onto Clive. 5v3. Now, four on two. Let's see, can Boz and Wubblefrog do anything? Is this just gonna be it? Oh, well, four on one. Four on one. Show all alone. And Tucker is actually just going to take him down instead. Um, four to two now for Final Spark. Yeah, four to two. Void with some B aggression right now. Waiting for the pick. Frame and FS having a little bit of a fight in the chat. Oh, here's the chat. Okay, everyone, let's keep up with the drama right now. <laughs> People are mad. People are mad at each other for absolutely no reason at all. Yeah, this so was the seeing, seeing from FS side, they let Void play. They let a blacklisted player who wasn't even supposed to play, they let him play. And then they're just throwing this map, trying to get on top of the slide. It doesn't really make sense. Wait, hang on. Someone's on the roof again. I think. No, I'm, no, 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 I thought. I was so excited. <laughs> I saw the excitement in your voice. It was... Mm. Actually, he's... Jason's be sticking the bomb. He might actually have it. Oh, 
he was close. He was definitely so close. Here's Vadim. Uh, well, let's see. Can we, can we turn the game sounds down just a wee bit? We can. Let's see. Turn that down to like almost ten. Had it. Uh, if now we're both too to quiet. Right. Okay. Okay, so I gotta turn me up right now. Do you fix your volume problems? Yeah, I do. Mine's all the way up. I will just get closer to the mic right now. Yeah, let's get like all the way into the microphone. Hi, this is Messed Up Logic with uh, MSCL ASMR. I was expecting just that to come out of your mouth. I don't know why. I could be an ASMR artist. I really hope you don't. No, my voice is too bland and monotone. I think I would be a good voice for an abusive father in like an anime or something. <laughs> I don't even want to like repeat what you just said. I just want you to acknowledge what you just said. I've acknowledged it. I. Hang on, am I allowed to say this on stream? Probably. It's not profanity. That okay, much. it's not profanity. That's that's all that matters. Okay, Rod, Rod's just giving me like I feel the stare through my monitor right now. But two picks from Cream, one on FS, and it's a three on two right now. All right, three on two. Connectors, nades coming in. That's going to do quite a bit of damage onto Void. Tucker All three players. Actually, control. Tucker's going to be finding one. Tucker has but now I control. think they... Ooh, nades coming in, seeing if they can do damage. Not only much going to be done, although... I think now, Clive, he's realized the A-side's completely open. He's going to try to flank them from on Connector. Bothroom's going to find one, and Vadim's going to miss all the shots, and Bothroom's going to find the second. What a clutch from bot spam right there. Five to four. Not really much of a clutch, but more of a good play. Because Clive was still alive. Yeah. Yeah, I heard a Nova. Who's on Nova right now? I think it's probably... Clive? No. Oh, it's Boz on the Nova. Hmm. Ooh. Aggressive coming out from the beam. He's gonna find one. Bap has a Nova. He's gonna take down Void with it as well. He's looking for more. Oh! Before Bap could get Breakaway, he's gonna be taken see, down by that, Joe. You see that teamwork right there. You know, Breakaway just keeps booking it, drawing Bap's fire. You know, he trusts Joe to take him out, man. Pick coming in onto the team. Now it's two on two. B site has bomb planted. Tucker's gonna be spotted. But the Loki hasn't been spotted just yet. Both coming in by water. Well actually, Tucker's gonna be a monster now. And then moving back to water. And looks like they're not really it doesn't seem like they're gonna be going for it. Yeah, I think they're just playing for exits right now. You know, it's five to five. They've lost three or two consecutive rounds, so right now their money's probably not the best right now. Well, this has been mostly back and forth mm -hmm. between uh, economies, but yeah. With this save, this will give FS a little bit more economy. Yeah, we've got, you know, we've got Deeg, only Deegs out, and... Uh, not a lot else for FS, so FS going with four-man B stack right now, and that's just what the yeah. doctor ordered because we have uh, Wubble and Void coming in. I think Cream's trying to take FS off, and I think FS, they're gonna, just gonna be in rage mode at them now with their plays. Especially on T side, I think this is gonna be bad for Cream. 
maybe you know what they might let's see Vidim. somehow this team beat oblivion no they don't they right now they don't have Chris to control this. that's true Vidim's gonna find one on the a side he's actually looking for wobble who's frozen wobble's frozen was frozen, That's yeah. so unlucky. He was frozen in the exact open. You don't now it's Clive all alone in a 5v1, and he's not gonna be able to do not anything because Jason's gonna take him down. Hang on, we're gonna hang on, we're gonna have a debate right now. Should this parkour be allowed? Because it is a oh, wobble crash. All right, 5v4. And it's six to five for FS. And this is an eco actually coming out from uh, Cream. So this is not really much. It's not really much that um, Cream could actually do in the first place, even having Wobble. Well, they have the bot spam that just has an off. And oh, I didn't even notice that. That's gonna equal things out now. Maybe they did force it. Four on three now. Slow and steady from Cream. Oh, Jason's gonna be getting dinked. If I believe that's Clive, actually, yeah, Clive just dinked him very hard. Oh, and he's gonna get the pre-fire onto Tucker as well. Now it's a three on three with. Um, Jason being very low. But Boz with the 200 IQ parkour play. You get Dude. taken down? Yeah, he got, uh, you just see his gun right there. He was on top. But he was Joke using it. them of ghosting. Now it's, it's a B play here. Clover's going to be taking one down. Knowing that Vidim's going to come in. And actually he's going to take down the second. It's planted. Actually for bot spam. Ooh, oh below he's going to fake the fuse. And he's going to take down bot spam instead. And that's going to be a round for FS. And now it's 7-5. First off. For uh, FS. Right now. Yeah. This game. This first half has been just one hell of a ride. Yeah, this game is not what I expected. Bap looking to play aggressive on B, and he, he's not going to expect two players there. And just and like that, it's three down players to from a F. four on two. All because of the aggressiveness coming out from FS. All they had to do was play passive, and instead, they just turned it into a round for Cream. But actually, Alohi, he's battling back with two picks. Tucker actually might find one here. Ooh, he's going to miss the shot on boss spam. gonna get boss man very low he's looking for somebody up close he's gonna find clive actually and boss man Ooh, boss man's gonna retaliate with that now it's a 1v1 a low helium a low he and boss man and i don't think they know that a low he's let's see there oh low he please do it he oh, does he's it. gonna get the knife kill and that's gonna be the first half eight five for uh f -out. That's right now. Yeah, so uh, let's analyze this. Now this could be the half where FS gets their gets another ring to their organization. Yeah, this will FS will probably be the most dominant.
team in Mindstrike? How many MSCL finals have they won? Um, I wouldn't look at. I think I would look at Sean's, but I think they've won. What? This would be three. Oh, third. Thank you, Rodcat. Very cool. This will be third. I think this will be the most that they've won because um, uh, this will be the most that any team has won if they win this because NGA has won two. This is will be season eight, so I don't know. I wasn't he. Oh, well, I've been in and out of MSCL, so I wouldn't. I wouldn't know who's won and who hasn't. It looks like they're gonna keep playing without Wubble. So that's a shame. Awakening won season one. NGA won season two. Display won season three. Um, NGA won season four. Um. I think FS season five, right? Uh, FS season four, NGA season five. Someone won season six, and they won FS won season seven. And, and now we're here in season eight. They're going to win season eight. It seems like it. It's in their favor right now. Map one, it's already in their favor, and this half is in their favor. They have, they have an aggressive T side, and... They're on T side now to finish it off. There could be a clean sweep here if they decide to actually try instead of throw. Wobble's back because. Uh oh, Wobble doesn't have proof. Let's. Well, they've already yeah. let blacklisted void bet play. I don't. I don't. Are they gonna let two people blacklisted play now? Yeah, I think. I don't think they're really gonna care much about it. Other, anyways. Yeah. So what? When, when's everyone else getting here? Like you know, MSCL Grand Finals. We got a. You know, last week there were like two hundred live streamers live streamers They're people watching live right viewers viewers whatever yeah same thing this is quite humiliating for cream i wouldn't lie yeah i mean you're in the grand finals and you're throwing that's just let me you know that's one of the things about like the MSCL's I guess problem in general like there's no incentive to really win you feel me yeah I play rank and so whenever like just people say oh yeah we're so gonna lose us they just stop trying they don't even try to go for the win still I'm still trying to go for the win because anything is still possible yeah but let's get back into this this round no Eight one two knows. Eight to five, all right. five players on cream are actually actually one connect here but all four other players are going to be pushing park while fs they have the b site to themselves we know what they're doing and on i the think that's right just going to realize this they're going to the park to have some fun while void and clive looks like they're going to be trying to stop this plant yeah this is quite humiliating coming out from the cream players well five void uh oh uh. I think cream's just gonna keep pushing the same way every single time but now it looks like they're actually starting to go for it all four players storm the site looking for kills at best, they aren't actually going to do anything. It's planted right in the open. Oh, they they're actually going to get the fuse in time. <laughs> and then Loki's going to get two knives on top of that. <laughs> Woo! Let's go, boys. Let's go cream. Look at this. They win the pistol round. Alohi on the op. He didn't even win. He's got an op right now. What's What the hell is going on? I'm surprised he actually... Going for an op already on the second round instead of like a scout or something because they're not actually going to have a buy, but they're going to play aggressive. 
Yeah, but come on, let's get let's get Twitch chat going right now. Like, you know, off the second round on losing side. Let's go. Didn't Nitrate win one? No, Nitrate didn't win one. It's all down to low heat. It's the first. Looking for a second on long. He's gonna find a second on long. One's, one more is pushing him on long, and one's actually pushing him behind. Wubble's gonna get eaten by that nade. He's gonna find the nose. He's gonna find the headshot. Now it's a one v one, and he knows exactly where he is. Moss versus Op right now. He's gonna find the clutch as well. What four v one for Loki. Is that an ace? No, Tucker got one kill. But what a 4K from Alohi. Come on, let's get some noise. Woo! Woo! <laughs> that was pretty lame. I didn't expect that coming out from Alohi, but he played that right. Yeah, he did what he had to do. Had a job and got it done. Two picks coming out. Ooh, 3v3 now. Uh, 3v1, Clive alone, and the round just went to FS in a matter of a second. Yep, that's... From the first contact to the last, that must have been at least, I don't know, 20 seconds? Alohi going 25 and 4, holy crap. He's gonna probably drop a 30, if anything. Let's see him drop this 30. I, I'm, I'm supporting it. He gets picked. Right <laughs> as I support it. Liam's gonna refrag. Actually, Jason's gonna refrag on top of that. Tucker almost just got knifed by Void. He's gonna get pistol instead. And back off into connector. Now it's a 4 on 2. Wubble and Void. Against the entire FS roster. What was gonna get destroyed by Bap? Now it's Boy all alone. I'm not really sure if he's saving anything or if he's actually gonna go for this. Well, let's see. He's making his way through connector right now. Bombs on A. He'll just be getting some extra ex exit frags right now. He's actually... Oh, that... The ladder didn't make any sound. Is Tucker using sounds? Ooh. Almost went for the knife and couldn't get it done. Yeah, that's... Oh, well. I don't think ladders make sounds with PDC on. Do they not? Oh, yeah, they don't. All right. They don't? Oh, okay. So you might I be thought they did. if you hear. No, okay. I thought they did, my bad. 4v4 now. Fight going up on the uh, A site. Or, uh, I mean, top mid. Breakway's gonna find one. Tucker's gonna refrag. Although he's, he's looking for one in the, on the edge of the smoke. It's, he's oh, gonna find Clyde. Oh, he's almost gonna hit on to Breakway. Now it's him all alone. He's looking for Joe. Oh, Joe. Gonna. Joe saves the night. Loki round. out. Although he almost had his third, uh, second clutch, actually, this game. That would have been a good clutch right there. That would have been one, another insane clutch. Yeah, he hit that shot on the bot spam. I didn't think he was going to hit that. Let's see. Quick here, flick. They're abusing their lack of B hold right now, so here comes the push. I'm surprised FS didn't really go to this much earlier because they should have known by now that Freem, they always push park every single time. Yeah, they're. Playing very one dimensionally right now. But now, oh, Jason is just gonna delete bot spam with the off after the plan. 
Now it's the 5v3. 5v2 as Vadim takes down Clive. Joe and Void all alone, and I don't think there's really much he can do. Tucker's gonna one shot Void. Now it's just Joe all alone. He has to hop on the ladder. He's looking to find something. He's gonna get knifed by Tucker instead. And now, two to four this half. FS need two more rounds to win. I guess unorthodox playing won't really get you anywhere? Yeah. It's not really working out that well. Well, it's worked for... out for the first two rounds. It Tucker, did. Tucker with an XM. I'm on this right now. Tucker Please. with the XM kill. Beautiful. <laughs> That's what we like to see. And it looks like they're gonna, they might just go for the aggressive B take here. Not if Wubble has anything to say about it. The game's gonna actually get taken down by Wubble. Ooh, and it's Tucker all alone. I think he has the XM. Oh no, he traded it for an AK instead. Quite a better trade. He's gonna find one in the connector. Ooh, he's gonna get two. He's looking for a third. That's Wubble. He's gonna have the XM in hand now. Bomb on the B site. 50 seconds to play with. Ooh, the timing's gonna come in. Wobble's actually gonna flank all the way around. Let's see if so Tucker can... can get to A site. Does he see him? Wobble's he, gonna... he saw him. He saw him. Tucker's gonna go all the way to A site. He has enough time to do this. But is Wobble gonna intercept that in time? He does. He's gonna get the headshot immediately. Okay, hang on. Slide jumps shouldn't have been allowed. It's not a mechanic that was purposely put into the map. It's abusing the map error, which wasn't intended. I don't know how they didn't lose round any rounds. Okay, boomer. Okay. <laughs> Should have lost at least two rounds, considering how they only really successfully made the jump. Yes, it's true. But That's it, true, but they also didn't kill anybody. They didn't kill anybody at all. It wouldn't be fun. We're not. We're having a good time right now, guys. That's what's going on. <laughs> See, now it's five on five. They're going Aggressive AT coming out from FS. He's actually one of the. This is probably the first time that FS is um, taking A site without having cream have any sort of push whatsoever. Looking a little bit more serious now. Three on three. Ooh, Joe almost had to flick on Alohi. Now it's a three on two, and both are coming in for bathrooms. Void's gonna be, be able to take Tucker out. Ooh, tags and cup in come in on on Void in the bathrooms. Now they're trying to play this together. Nay's gonna come in and land right on one. Headshot coming in from Alohi, and he's gonna knife Void. He's gonna be able to get the knife. And that's, and that's actually the right thirty. There. He just got the thirty with that knife. He got the thirty. It looks like Void just rage quit. This is actually game point. This is yeah. This is game champion. Point right this is championship point right here. Championship round. It's a five v four in the last round. Who's gonna be taking down long? Bap's gonna find another. And actually. That's that was, game. That's game. GG. No re. We will be going to interviews in just a moment. So let, let's talk about that game. Rodcat, stop the game. It was 8-5. Was it eight five? Was it eight five?
I'm gonna see. I'm fr I'm frozen right now. So can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Was it eight five or eight six? Uh, it was eight six. Should have said that in chat. I didn't know. I thought it was eight five. No, it was it was a uh, Bryn. Uh oh. No. Uh, best stop the game. Rodriguez. Uh, what happened? Hang on, hang on. I'm, uh. Best stop the game. I said I told Wait, Rod. Did you move the stream? Did you pause the stream? No, it's the stream's still going. Okay. Should I just pause it? Nah, I'm not gonna pause it. We're gonna we're gonna talk about. I what's told going Rod. On. Rod was in call, so I told Rod to because it should have been his call, but he didn't. He didn't say whatever it was eight five or eight six. I thought it was eight five. Yeah, we thought it was eight five, and then like, you know, I guess things were stopped. And all right, so. Uh... Why are people in the media lounge? Like, what's going on? What? Why are they here? They're not media. I do not appreciate that. Let's get out of here. They're supposed to be in the host lounge. So uh, let's talk about that game. We'll pretend it's technical difficulties right now, but uh, what do you think? Anyone want to unmute? If you're still in, let me check. Is anyone still in the? Well, uh, let's get Jason in here. I mean, that would have been game, essentially. Anyways, because there was both a buy round from both of them, wasn't there? Yeah. Uh, wait, was Cream on a buy round? I wasn't sure. I think somebody had a gun. There probably was a gun. Like, no, not just pistol, like uh, an actual rifle, I mean. Or an op. Alright, we'll play this out mm. in our mind's eye. Come come, come to the uh, analyst desk over here. Alright, I am coming. Okay, so. You know, uh, send some messages in the Twitch chat right now. Let's see. FS mess around and waste time all the time time cream is right to do the same thing back do we agree or disagree disagree because it's, it's i think this is meant to be more serious in my opinion where um fs shouldn't really throw i mean sure to make it more fun and make it more entertaining they could throw but at the same time that's not really like what the championship is all about that's more of like a third place game You know what I mean? I think I know. I know what you mean, brother. I know what you mean. We gotta. But it's this is really disappointing from Cream, just because like they're just wasting their time, basically, with not trying and not making this co a competitive thing. So how do we how do we make this more competitive now? Like, are we gonna like how do we? How does MSCL make this more competitive? Like, what prizes are MSC or I guess FS or like not FS, but what prizes are FS getting? Like the new knife skin, maybe. Uh, maybe another knife. Yeah, I was gonna say maybe another knife skin, but at the same time, I I'm not really that sure about what could be a prize. 
other than the the tags on the Discord. That's it's hard to say, yeah, but bragging rights is all I can really think of for sure. Um. Hmm. Mm, yeah, well. Clive just left the frozen lobby. There goes Clive. I think that this is just gonna be game. There's no way they're gonna play a five v three. Yeah, well, I uh, let's see. I think Bap and Rodcat are in the manage management meeting right now. Yeah, I'm not really sure what they're gonna be discussing about because Void and Clive are gone. It's only Joe Wubble and Bot Spam. What are those three gonna do against an FS roster? True. Five players. It's, uh, well. it's a little bit our fault for not knowing and telling to stop the game. But at the same time, I told Rod to, so I kind of expected that he was going to. I didn't expect Beth to. So yeah, we, we apologize for the delay for, uh, of yeah. the... But there wasn't really much Cream could do anyways. There was a 5v4. And at any moment, at best, could have easily taken the round with maybe like a B push or it, anything. It's not. It's not about that. You see, like you know, they were like, "Oh, we still would have had a chance." Like, oh, I don't believe they would have had a. They chance. wouldn't have had a chance, but like you know, you they want to think they had a chance. Yeah, they would want to think of that. Yeah, like if you don't give them the chance, like then like you know they could have been like, "Oh, it would have been a huge comeback." Actually, a I feel like huh? I feel like it should have been a third manager because just having it's Bap who's on FS and then it's Rod who's not on either of those. Teams. There should have been, there maybe should have been maybe some higher up official looking over this. I don't know, maybe like a referee or somebody or maybe another uh, a global somebody. Yeah, let, let's get back but to the like topic on hand. How do we make MSCL more competitive to where players don't want to like book around in the finals, fool around, have a good time? I think one of the things people could do is maybe like some of like the higher, better tier one, tier two players. Maybe I don't know, like give tips out to uh, people who are new to the game or learning the game I mean, Dudesy, to get better. Dudesy does that in like or BAP like with ranked. Yeah. Most of the time it'll people be People like... are doing that but I'm saying what if like more players did that and got more people involved with how to play this game more strategically or um, more um, hands on in so, a way. But how do, we, how do we revive Mind Strike back to the glory days you know? Oh that's that's done Don't, like forget about that that's in the past. I do miss, though, um, being on Nightshade. Nightshade was um, a very competitive time, especially having SCP, Awakening, um, NGA, all those teams. Well, that's because everyone very cheated good... back then. Hmm? Sorry? That's because everyone cheated back then. You know, you can get away with you can get away with cheats, like, easily back then, but now... But now it's a lot harder, yes, I agree, and I think that's kind of... That's kind of a little bit of a problem. All right, I'm going to risk Four. it. I'm turning off IRC now. Disconnecting. Why didn't you turn it off in the first place? I did. But then, like, someone wanted me to turn on bright lighting, full bright, and mm. I tried to connect, and it, like, I don't know. Here we go. I think I'm done. Okay, good. We're off IRC now. All right. Hmm. I keep fluctuating between like 22 and 35 viewers. So it's 30 for me. Oh, 35 now. Yeah, I think the reason it was so popular. Because it was CCL? I was going to say because. Uh, 
Callum was streaming. Everyone loves Callum. Probably. Ooh, you want to get Westy in here? No. Nope. We're getting Westy in here. We're going to Hub. Anyone who wants to talk, meet in Hub chat. <laughs> We're doing it. Let's see. Uh, General One. Well, uh, wanted. All right. Uh, join MT. Join MTO General One. We're going to MTO General One right now, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, is there a general? Yeah, there is. Well, uh, hmm. Oh, he's in rank. Let's let's go there. Howdy. Hello. Hey. Okay, so what you said was um, just how to make the league more competitive. Yeah, basically. So like, um, a lot. There's quite a lot of ways to actually do it since. I've been thinking about it for a while. All right, what what are your opinions right now? Um, so wait, so did you just ask me because I've got the stream on in the background? I need to mute it. Hello, Jason. Are you still Hello, streaming? Team. Yeah, I'm still streaming. I'm just talking to. Did you want to do the interview? Uh, no. Ha, as if I'm an, as if, as if I'm an oh, FS. Jesus Christ. <laughs> no. Yes, I am the FS player. Let's go. <laughs> right now, we're just okay, talking so... like you know how do we. How do how do we like make Mind Strike more competitive? Bring so, back the glory. We days. add the Negev. That's what we do. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so obviously Bap is apparently moving teams. He's the best player in the league, isn't he? By quite a mile at this point. You know, I heard a rumor he... that uh, next season there's gonna be uh, money for ranked top ten oh. players will be receiving money. They're gonna re be receiving money. Yeah, yeah but I heard a rumor. Surely they're gonna give up giving money out at that point in time because. And the number one spot is looking at something around a hundred dollars. Now is this oh, like well, mine? Well, not mine. I mean, that will make the league a lot more active, to be honest. Players like Dylan. It's gonna like make rank a lot more competitive. I know that much. Yeah, it's and already people won't give up. <laughs> to be honest, Geek, a lot of like for example, I think this um, is today. going to bring a lot of bot bullying. Oh, there already is a lot about bullying. It's just gonna make oh, yeah, like, it worse. Not really. Like, if you look at it, for example, there'll be try some people like that, like you just now, Messi um, said, will try and make bots better as a result because money is involved. So basically, get a reward for being a good person. Messi, did you see the Joe's parkour jump? <laughs> I was watching that the entire time. I was too. <laughs> And I like in, I was in FS's call and they weren't they didn't understand what they were doing. Then they saw him up there and they were like, "What?" <laughs> hey, hey, Jason. Oh, no. okay, Jason, so Messi, I know, I know. That's how you got banned. <laughs> Messi, you know how you said, "How do we make the MSL more competitive?" Nah, I'll show you how to yeah, do how it. Do we, so I, I know how to do it. Let me just mute. Really? Okay. Yes, I've okay, known so about that for a year. Um, you know, so Bap is apparently making a team, and if Bap leaves FS. The league automatically becomes more competitive because the best player in the league has just become, well, practically solo. He's put, making a team with Rodcad and a bunch of other players. One yeah. thing what did make the league a lot less competitive was EU being deleted, but there's nothing more can be done about that since teams like L Alexa and now L9 won't be able to basically play to their full potential. So no, they never took a chance. Either, right? See, what's the other However, nothing much can be done about that. 
Uh, recently, a lot of like, for example, bots have improved a lot. For example, Geek recently, he's, there's been a massive um, spike in improvement from when he was at TSB to now, for example, when he's at Port Stars or when he was at Rise. So, slowly but surely, the gap is starting to shrink. However, second place and first place is still massive, like a massive gap. Yeah, like... that's probably going to decrease with back moving though. However, I'm pretty sure Tucker will still be able to carry FS. I don't it's think more whether Oblivion will be able to improve enough over the next season, which I believe they can do. They can get players from teams like Elixir or I'm not really sure. There's not too many players what don't have like too many good players that don't have a team. Maybe you could see like players from CRM moving back to Oblivion just to improve their team more. Um, I'm pretty sure if is it Jason's team or um, Gavin's team, they've improved quite a lot. They've got um, quite a few good players. However, it's more just in, like the bot, well, the so-called bot players improving just to like shrink the gap a bit more. And then like there won't be any 16 nils unless the teams are really unbalanced. I mean, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I make that. That makes sense. That does make sense. Was it Beth or Bryn that uh, stopped the game early? Uh, who is Kixin? Quixin? That's Beth. That's Beth. That's Bethany. Alright, so Beth did it. Yeah, oh, dude, I listen, think he's to, the best be MS fair, player. In her defense, okay, like, I was like... What it, happened in your guys' call? No, so what happened call? was like, me and Wanted were like, hey, was it 58-5 first half? And then Wanted was like, yo, Rod, stop the game, it was 8-5. And like I was just assuming like he'd ask and be like, "Oh hey," and then Beth just stopped it. Beth stopped it, yeah. <laughs> and and then Rod oh, would have been like, "No guys, it's eight six. Don't worry." Yeah. Classic mind strike. I don't know why I was refing to be honest. I'm not a host. You just appointed yourself. That it's just that simple. I didn't appoint myself. They literally were like Jason, come ref. Yeah, they need oh. they need some more refs. Also, there was a point about um, Botoxicity, which I'm pretty sure Geek made a few minutes ago. Slowly but surely, that is actually starting to fade out of the league. And if you if you don't include, like, it depends on how you take a joke. Like, what I learned is if you're a pussy about your accent being taken a piss out of, oh, watch your you're not going to actually get there. anywhere in the league. Like, for, like, someone like, for no offense to her, but Alina, taking, like, the way she takes her jokes just doesn't yeah. work because yeah. people will just continue to take jokes. <laughs> oh, I, I'm, I'm just being straight honest here. Like, Jason, I'm going to correct you there. I'm going to correct you there. When people are like, oh my god, Westy and his T, for example, it's not exactly like I don't get affected by it too much since I really just get this stuff IRL as well since I'm British. But like, for example, Alina, she's like, please stop using the wrong pronouns, Westy. It doesn't help with like the toxicity and well i mean i'm not gonna like big myself up too much but since i've ignored like the comments i've improved as a player like recently for example i went from getting six kills and being roasted by sucker to be getting around 19 kills and being roasted by sucker so like and it's also like one thing what a player named killer told me was if you just believe you're the best and attempt to be it, you'll guaranteed start to become better. And that's something I actually, at first I was thinking, what the fuck, that's stupid. I'm, pretty, I'm like, have you seen my aim? Excuse me, language, but please. Of recent, when I, for example, in Inferno, I went like 25-20 against players like Backley, 300. And I started believing that I am good. Good things came from it, and I started playing better since. That's good. That's good. Yeah, one of the That's problems. more like, it's more of like, for example, if you do that, then if you just believe in yourself, you're more likely to become a better player over time. For example, I've been, I've been playing this game for quite a while, and when I was on EU, I used to be the worst player. Like, bro, I, my first comp game, I didn't know what quick switching was. The most OP thing in this game, I didn't know what it was. I was literally just holding right click with an M4, A4. And like pushing stuff pretty stupidly. <laughs> hey, hey, oh who, who's bringing the. Hey, what did I just listen I... to? Oh, I remember oh, yeah. the CSB game, Geek, yeah. 
Hey, like, well, we all started off. We all suck. Like, you remember when I forced yeah, exactly. another league every round? That was the only thing I'd ever buy. I don't know, man. Oh when I first joined this league, I, I used to do that all the time, dude. Because I got like, one, I got one kill in the pub with that, and I thought, wow, this is the most OP gun in the game. And like when I came against players who actually knew how to play, like right, I got absolutely to around. FS disc. Oh. I don't well, have that. And we're gonna go. Yeah, neither do I. <laughs> see if we can get some oh, interviews. Oh, I have to here. do my English homework anyway. See you next time. Good luck interviewing the players. And Thank yeah, you. thanks for the stream. Yeah, play your interview with people who wow. didn't actually play. Uh, yeah. So we'll be. I'm sure you can only hear me right now because I'm in a lobby with a tag to drag. We're all muted, so we're right now we're being waited on an FS disk to be moved in. And so we wait. Or maybe I can... FS? How do they have... Yeah, right now the face it challenger is uh or face it finals. Only him though. Hello. Hey everybody, streams on, so don't say anything. Uh bad. Well, no, no, actually no, no 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 actually guys don't troll. Don't say anything bad. The league yeah. is mad at us when we curse on stream and shit. That's yeah. true. Stop it, stop. You you can say light swear. So uh, that game that was that overpass game that was good game right there. What do you guys think? They cried a lot. Second like trash. I actually swept the second round off. True. And what do you think? I don't know why they cried so much. I, I mean we let them have void, and he topped on cash and stuff. I don't know. <laughs> Did he actually? Yeah. I, I, and Brady doesn't even play the game. Like, Void would have done much better than Brady. Very unfortunate. We are very sorry about that. No, no. <coughs> we, didn't, we didn't really care. We kind of just kept playing, even though they were, you know, breaking rules without. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that. Uh, so basically, Post. like, Cash was a stomp, as we know. Yeah. Like. Yeah. They kept pushing BB. Yeah, but then on, like,. Overpass, it seemed like, you know, they were playing super weird. Wait, wait hold on. Yeah. How many viewers do you have right now? How many viewers do you have right now? Uh, right now? Only 23. Oh, only. Oh, God. Yeah, like, this is MSCL Finals. Last week was semifinals, and there was, like, Uh, Someone said you had, like, like uh, 20,000 viewers at one point. Is this true? No, it was, those are overall viewers from, like, uh, other streams. If I have 20,000 viewers... Oh, I think the stream like, had, like, 100k. Yeah, no, 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 because they like no post the links. Anyways, continue with your interview. No, so like you know, then once they started playing super weird on overpass, you know, uh, you guys kind of started to struggle a little bit. What was that about? Like just because they were playing really weird, or what? Uh, like first half or second half, you said? Uh, both halves, I guess. Like, uh. I don't know. We weren't really uh, doing anything in particular, just so, like, we either grouped up or just spread around the map. I guess they just, like, played strangely, yeah. As Bach would say, they're, they're, like, staring into Andromeda, you know. Just pushing with. Well, I think Rod wants you to send him this whole, whole recording. Okay, yeah. He, uh. Okay, I'll get that to him in a minute. But, uh, basically. You know, you guys won. It wasn't a super exciting game, I guess. But, you know, how do you no, feel? No, I, I think that's because uh, they were mostly, like, angry. They were throwing. Sensing. Like, they were throwing yeah. at the... Uh, that's what yeah, everyone's they saying. Yeah. You can say no, it. They, they were, like, bipolar. <laughs> They're, like, trying so hard. You know, they threw the whole game. Uh, Messi, isn't yeah. your tournament coming up? What's up? Oh, yeah, that's next, next week. week. 
Let's go. Yeah, so you guys are basically going from like winning the MSCL winning. finals <laughs> to going to play MTO Cup. How, are you ready Bro. for that? Messi, let's let this yes. know. You're like our favorite person for all the money you give us. <laughs> 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 okay. Well, you know, fifty dollars is fifty dollars. You play mine straight. We bet it all. So the last fifty dollars we won, we bet it all on CS skins. Oh, and we lost. Dude, yeah. we would have won. So no, I did go on the guy that. So one guy went three, two uh, K on red, and I he shot he went black. Fifty on red, and he went black. <laughs> it's hard. No, that's pretty yeah. good right there. No. Yeah. So I, I'd assume you guys are ready. You know, you beat. Oh yeah. I guess this was the second best team in the league. Yo, I just like to say before you end it, before you end the interview and stuff, God bless you, Brady. I'm so sorry that happened. Uh, and your uh, teammates just diminish your honor of not playing. You know, I hope I hope you get better. Uh, start rolling around back in that wheelchair real soon. I'll send you some beans if you're watching. Thank you, Tucker. Very cool. Yeah, I'm sure he. So, any final thoughts, words? Um, this they interview? played. Oh, I have one thing to say. Yeah. Please stop hitting me off. I just want to play Minecraft. All right, that's all. Thanks. Tucker. Um, they had the potential to do better. I agree. I agree. Overall, bad game. Not gonna lie. Uh, BG, no re. Right, thank you guys yep. for your time. Yeah. All right. Let's get this transition back. And we'll sign out. But as always, that's the end of this stream. That's the end of this season eight. Your winners are FS, Final Spark. Good job to them. So hopefully, I'll see you next season. I hope, I really hope I do. And I'll hopefully still be here. And as always, I'm your host, Messed Up Logic. Signing out.